Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making an extra, extra, extra small dog sweater. So this dog sweater will fit, well actually it's a dog sweater slash kitten sweater. It'll fit a kitten or a little two pound dog. Two pounds. And crochet does not have a lot of give. So you got to keep that in mind because this is a teeny tiny sweater. This is for teacup dogs, little, yeah. You can even put it on stuffy toys because it's just that small. Okay, so we're gonna start that in just a moment. Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making an extra, extra, extra small. Did I say three extras? Three extra smalls. <laughs> um, dog sweater. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need some three ply weight, um, lightweight baby yarn. I'm just using scrap. I don't know what brand it is or whatever. You're going to need a darning needle and some scissors. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start by crossing our yarn. Okay, I don't do slip knots. People ask why don't I do slip knots. I've never done slip knots. So if it ain't broke, we're not going to fix it. So we're going to chain 40. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, halfway there, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay, so now without twisting your stitches, you're going right back to that first chain that you did and you're going to go into it okay and we're going to slip stitch into it then we're going to chain up two one two now my chains don't count as stitches in this on this round okay so now we're going to do half double crochet yarn over your hook Go into that next chain, pull through, you've got three loops, yarn over, you're going through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. Let me show you again. Yarn over, into the chain, pull through, three loops, one, two, three loops, yarn over, go through all three loops. Okay, I want you to do that until you have 40 half double crochets and remember that chain does not count as a stitch so do that and meet me back okay so i did my 40 stitches and now i'm gonna slip stitch into the chain two of the top stitch so the second chain of the chain two okay slip stitch we're gonna chain up three okay so that's what we have so far. We're going to chain up three in the same stitch that you chained or that you slip stitched into. We're going to put a double crochet. Okay, we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to skip two. So one, two. In the next one, we're doing another double crochet. So yarn over. We're skipping two, we go into this one, into the stitch, pull through. You've got three loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through the last two loops. OK, 
Okay, then we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip two, one, two. And in this one, we're going to put two double crochets, okay? Two double crochets. Okay. So did you see the pattern happening here? We're gonna chain two. Oops. We're gonna skip two, one, two. And we're gonna go into that and put one double crochet. We're gonna chain two. We're gonna skip two, one, two. And we're doing two double crochets into that same stitch. Okay. So you're doing two, chain two, one, chain two, two, chain two, one. Okay, I want you to do this around and meet me back. Okay, I'm getting to the end here. So I'm gonna chain two. And my next one is a single one. So one, two. And if we did it right, the pattern should have worked. We're going to chain two and then we're slip stitching into the third chain of the chain three. Okay. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Okay. So now we are working along the post. So you see this post here? Right there. We're going to work along the post. Now this chain three that we just did is going to count as a stitch. It's going to count as one of the five double crochets we want to put in here. Okay, so that counts as one of them. And then on the side of the post, see how I'm doing it here? We're going to do four more double crochets. And it's just around that post. And if you have to shimmy the, the stitches over, you go right ahead. Oops. Okay. Then once you got your five counting the chain three, you're gonna chain one. And now you're gonna go upwards, up along this other post, okay? So yarn over, around the post, go through two loops, two loops. That's one. We're doing five again two, three, four, five. Okay, so there we go. We've created one of our little scales or scoops or whatever you wanna call it. This is called the crocodile stitch, I believe. I like to call it dragon scale, but doesn't mean I'm right. So now we're going to skip the single post. We're going to go to the next one and we're going to do five double crochets down the post. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna chain one, and then we're going up the other post right there. So, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and look, you've made another little scale. We've got two little scales there now. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way around. So we skip the single, or the, the one double crochet, and we go to the stitch that has two, and we're gonna keep going. So you do that all the way around, meet me back. So I've gone all the way around to the other side. Now here's what I'm gonna show you we're gonna do. Catching this this scale here and the stitch. Do you see how I'm going into the stitch there? I'm gonna slip stitch. And what that did is it tacked down this scale. 
We're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And now going right into there, that stitch that we caught, we're going to do another double crochet. Okay. We're going to chain two. Now into that space, we're going to do a double crochet. Just one double crochet. We're going to chain two. And now over here, so we're going into this double crochet from this one before, but we're going to catch our scales so they're anchored down, okay? So we're going to do a double crochet, and we're putting another double crochet there. Same stitch. It's a bit tricky, but once you get it, it's so worth it. This pattern is just delightful. We're going to chain two. A double crochet into this space just one chain two and now two double crochets catching that scale so one and then two you see how I kind of split my work there so I could see what I was doing then we're gonna chain two one into the space chain two okay so I'm splitting my work so I can see where I'm going. And we're doing a double crochet. So we're yarn over, catch your scales into that stitch, pull through, go through two loops, go through two loops, and we're putting another one, same exact spot. Okay, chain two, one, two. Go into the space for a single. Whoopsies, too many. And we're going to do this all the way around. When you get this all the way around, meet me back. Okay, so we've gone all the way around. I'm on my last two chains. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch into that the third chain of the chain three. Then we're going to chain three. And then just like our last row, we're going to start doing those double crochets down the post. So five double crochets down the post. Four and five. That chain three counted as one of the five double crochets. Chain one, turn, and now you're going up the other post. One, Okay, so we, this is to make the scales. We want a total of four rows worth of scales, okay? So we've already done two. Well, this is our second one, right? And we want a total of four. So do those two rows until you've got four of the scales. And then you can meet me back. Okay, so I'm on the fourth row of my scales. So I'm going to catch it here and do my slip stitch, okay? And then I'm gonna chain two. Just two, not three this time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do half double crochets in that foundation row, okay? So where we chain two, we are gonna do a half double crochet. So just like the beginning. Okay, so we should be able to get two where the, the chain two was. And we want to pick up 20 total. So two, and then three would just go in the center. And then four, whoops, four and five go in the chain two, and then six, we're going to catch to anchor, and we're going to go into that, this double crochet post, so that was six, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So then we're going to go into the chain. Seven. Eight. And then into the space. Nine. Ten. 11 and now we're going to catch those scales and go into that post 12 13 is into the chain 14 is into the chain 15 is in the space 16 is into the chain 17 is into the chain. 18, we catch our scale and we go into that post. 18. 19 is into the chain. And 20 is into the chain. Okay, so let's double count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16, 18, 20. We are not counting that chain as a stitch, okay? So that counted as one row. We're going to go back and forth on these stitches for a total of six rows. This counts as one. So we're going to chain up two, one, two, turn our work, and now we're just working in those stitches, okay? And we're doing half double crochets. Okay? So do that for six rows, counting the one we just did, and meet me back. Okie dokie, so I did my six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're going to make a big loop. We're going to leave a bit of a tail, and very gently, we're not pulling this tight, tight. We're pulling it two, because we're going to pick it out later. Okay, so now we're going to do the chest part. So that's the back part. See how tiny this is? This will fit, like I said, maybe a two pound dog, maybe only a one and a half pound dog. It's just made for those teeny, 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 tiny dogs. Okay, so going back over here, we're going to go in the space of this and we're going to attach our yarn. We're going to chain up two. Okay, that does not count as a stitch. Now going into the chain, we are going to pick up one. We're going to pick up 20 again. One, two. Now we're going to fast, and we're doing half double crochets. We're going to fasten the scales to that double crochet, so three. Four, five, into the space, six, and then seven, eight, and then we're going to catch the scales, nine, ten, 11, we're going to go into this space, 12, 13, 14, and then we're going to catch the scales, 15, 16, 17, into this space, 18, 19, and 20. We're all the way to the other side, okay? We're going to chain up two. Now this is the chest, okay? So we want it to taper because we don't want all that material 
between their front paws, okay? They wanna be able to walk. So this is how I decrease. We're gonna go yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. We've got five loops. See those five loops? One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, I want to go through all five loops. So we just turned two stitches into one. So that counts as one, and we're gonna do 18 this row. So we're gonna go all the way to the other end until we have two stitches left. I usually count, so that counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to like and subscribe. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can check the description for a pattern which is coming soon. Thirteen, a written pattern anyway. Fourteen. And also check the description, 15, 16. Um, check the description for other patterns with this. So 17, and then the last two stitches here, we're turning into one. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into that final stitch, pull through. You've got five loops, one, two, three, four, five. Go through all five loops, chain up two. Also in the description, um, you'll have a link to my Pinterest board so that you can find all different kinds of dog sweaters, not even, not necessarily all made by me, um, or cat sweaters, because this also fits a kitten, right? Like a, a little kitten. Um, and check the description for my Etsy store, a link to my Etsy store. Okay, so now we're gonna do another decrease. So into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five. Go through all five loops, that counts as one stitch. Now this row is gonna have 16 stitches, right? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, half double crochets, remember, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15. So these last two stitches we're turning into one. So into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through five loops. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, go through all five loops. Chain up two. Now I want you to repeat this row until you're down to 10 stitches and then you can meet me back. Okay, I'm down to 10 stitches. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that back panel and we are gonna slip stitch into the chain two on the back panel, okay? Then we're gonna chain up two, one, two, we'll make a big loop. We're going to that one that I said to not pull tight and we're gonna pick out and now we are gonna slip stitch that one into the front panel that we just made. Okay, and we're gonna slip stitch that. And now we're gonna pull tight. Pull tight and stick that in the middle. So now we are working on the neck. Okay, so we're just doing half double crochets. We're gonna have 30 half double crochets around and we're gonna do this for three rows. Do that and meet me back. 
three rows, half double crochet. Okay, so I've done my three rows for the neck. I'm going to pull my tail through my loop. Okay, now look at how tiny this is. It is really tiny. Now, I wanted to let you know that I used a 2.5. If you want it a bit bigger, like just a bit, then you would go to a three. With this weight yarn, which is a three, um, three ply lightweight yarn, you could go up to a 3.5 in crochet hook to make it just a little bigger. If you need a bigger than that, then I would suggest that you go to my extra, extra small, which is basically the same design, but you're using the worsted weight yarn, which is a heavier weight, which is a four ply medium. And you would be going to a 4.5 crochet hook. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the threads and we're gonna come back and sew on the buttons. So be right there. So I hid all my threads. So I'm turning it back inside in. Inside out, inside in. Okay, so see here how it tapers? That is the chest. So I'm gonna put the buttons on the back and they're just ornaments, okay? They're not meant to function. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I've got this mostly centered. Okay. And then I'm just going to sew on the button. I'm using a kind of a plastic abalone um, button. It's very cute. I like it. Okay. So there's my button on. And now I'm just going to tie a knot in the back. Double knot it. And then I'm going to leave just a little bit. There we go. And then I'll put on my other button. So I'm lining it up. So this one was two rows from the top. So I'll put this one two rows from the bottom. And then I'm lining them up there. And here we go. And I'm just doing an X because this is a four hole button. Okay, and then I'm going to tie it again, double knot it, and then give it a trim. And there we go, guys. That is our itty bitty teeny weeny. Um, dog sweater. So remember, this fits like a two pound kitten or a two pound dog. It is not meant for a bigger size. And crochet doesn't have as much give as knitting does. So I had a, a customer complain about um, buying one of these sweaters and she couldn't get it over her kitten's head. And I was like, well, I put the measurements for the neck and head. So yikes. So now I'm making sure that everyone knows that it doesn't have as much stretch as knitting does. But as a crocheter, you would already know that. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and come here every Thursday. I try and do a new video. Bye guys. Have a great day.